Jurian Timber of Ajax is one of the hottest prospects in Europe, so it should come with no surprise that our new boss Eric Tenog wants to continue working with the Dutch international, and it looks like Manchester United might have secured a verbal agreement with the young centre back, but is he the right player to solve Manchester United's defensive issues? Also, with Eric Tenog having already arrived in Manchester, could he potentially be managing us on Sunday? Well, let's discuss all this in the latest episode of Transfers FC. But let's start off with Jurian Timber to Manchester United, as MUFC MPB dropped another exclusive that Manchester United have reached a verbal agreement with Jurian Timber. Ajax have only been informed of the interest and are yet to be approached by United, and a bid is expected to follow. So, MUFC MPB suggests Manchester United have reached a verbal agreement with Jurian Timber. And while this is a follow up story to his initial story when he said last month that Manchester United had opened up talks with Jurian Timber's agent and that Timber was open to joining with Eric Tanaka at United. But now he's going a step further and suggesting that United have reached a verbal agreement with Timber and that we are soon to bid for the young centre back. And well, if that is the case and we have reached a verbal agreement with Jurian Timber, well, that is things you love to see. And it looks like that might be the case as the German slash Bayern Munich journalist Florian Pettenberg suggests that Bayern Munich inquired for him but it is said that the 20 year old could join Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United. Talks with his management have taken place but Manchester United are seriously interested. So not only does Timber want to join Manchester United but it looks like he's rejecting teams like Bayern Munich and well if that doesn't show the pull that Eric Ten Hag has well I don't know what does. And David McDonnell of the Mirror also added to Timber to Manchester United as he suggests that Manchester United are pushing ahead with a move for Jurian Timber and that Ajax and Manchester United are understood to be in talks with Jurian Timber with him finally saying that Eric Ten Hag is keen to continue his great working relationship with Jurian Timber at Manchester United. Three different sources suggesting Jurian Timber is close to Manchester United with MUFC MPB saying Manchester United have reached a verbal agreement for the centre back. Well, it looks like there might be something in the waters and Manchester United could potentially land Jurian Timber this summer. But let's talk more about Jurian Timber as a player. As Jurian Timber for Ajax predominantly plays as that right sided centre back in Eric Tenog's 4 2 3 1 slash 4 3 3 hybrid. But when he is required, he can easily play as a right back, showing his high level of versatility. But no matter where he plays, he just looks so comfortable on the ball. And that is key for any modern team trying to play out from the back. And well, his numbers would suggest that, as if you compare his ball progression to all the centre backs in the Premier League, well, he's up there with the likes of Joel Matip. And the only centre back that is better is Amaric Laporte. And this just highlights how he can contribute in the build up phase for Manchester United. But he is not only a brilliant ball progressor, but he also is brilliant at keeping the ball as his ball retention graph would suggest that as only the two Manchester City centre backs have a better pass completion rate and with only America Report having more passes attempted per 90 it looks like Jurian Timber is up there with some of the best centre backs in the league in terms of passing ability and having someone so comfortable on the ball and so good on the ball it is so so important in a possession based system but Jurian Timber does have one massive downfall and that is his aerial ability. As if you compare him to all the centre backs in the league, he's comfortably the worst when it comes to aerial duels. And sadly this is something we can't really develop as with him only being 5 foot 10 we can't really do anything about that and the only thing we could really do is put an aerial dominant centre back next to him like a Harry Maguire or Rafael Varane. But overall, with Jurian Timber being so so good on the ball, I think Manchester United should go and get him no matter how bad he is in the air. As well, if he can't compete as a centre back in the Premier League, well, we could easily play him as an inverted right back. And well, that is the brilliance of Jurian Timber. And finally, the fact that Jurian Timber is Ajax's talent of the year, well, that suggests in a star strutted Ajax team, he is the best young player of the lot and with his impressive ball playing ability and his impressive versatility Manchester United should be all over Jurian Timber. But what are your thoughts on Jurian Timber? Do you think Manchester United should go and sign him? And if so, how much do you think he would cost Manchester United? But now let's move on to Eric Ten Hag's arrival. 
as with Eric Tanok's final game at Ajax, Ajax drew 2-2 away from him against Vitesse and that meant the end of an era for him at Ajax as it took him no time to come to Manchester as after the game on Sunday reports came out straight away that Eric Tanog will travel to Manchester and start working tomorrow but how was that really the case as wasn't Eric Tanog still technically the Ajax manager? Well it doesn't look like it as after the game David McDonnell said that Eric Tanog had terminated his contract with Ajax six weeks earlier and will effectively start working at Manchester United on Monday. And Fabrizio Romano also confirmed that as he said that Eric Tanag will arrive in Manchester on Monday to begin his new chapter as Manchester United head coach and that Mitchell van der Gaard will be part of his coaching staff with work in progress for Steve McLaren to join them. So with Manchester United having one game left this season and that is Crystal Palace on Sunday, Eric Tanag arrived with six days to go to that game and with the massive importance riding on that game as if Manchester United failed to beat Palace and West Ham United beat Brighton, well, Manchester United would be potentially in the Europa Conference League. And well, I don't think that would be the best of starts under Eric Ten Hag. So, could Eric Ten Hag take matters into his own hands and potentially be managing us on Sunday? Well, that would have been the dream scenario, but that won't be the case. As he was interviewed after leaving Ajax, and well, in that interview they said, Ralph Rannick will prepare for Palace, so what are you doing in Manchester now? Eric Tanog said, I will stay here and meet the people from Manchester. I will organise the staff, make the schedule for next season and prepare the squad for next season. So unfortunately Eric Tanog will not be managing us against Crystal Palace on Sunday. But he is doing that extra step as he really didn't have to terminate his contract with Ajax and join Manchester United so soon. But he knows the massive problems Manchester United have and he knows the sooner he can try and fix it, the better for him. And well, in that same interview, he also had some big talk about titles. As he said, I know what Manchester United expect. They want titles. They want to go back where they came from. But we need to come with a great idea and to work extremely hard. So it's taken Eric Tanag no time to talk about titles and what Manchester United expect. And well, that's exactly what us Manchester United fans want to hear. As he has previously shown that he can talk the talk and walk the walk as his time at Ajax would suggest that, as at Ajax he had a 73% win rate with him only having 29 losses in 215 games and with him winning 6 trophies and averaging 2.74 goals per game. Well Eric Tanag has previously talked the talk and walked the walk and hopefully he can do that at Manchester United. But for me it's not all about hope as there is also a massive belief in him as really he is the first real manager that has all three of the key components Manchester United need as he has already proven that he is a winner at Ajax with him having 6 trophies there and well he also has modern day philosophies and modern day tactics which mean that he is a modern day coach and finally it looks like he also has that man management side about him where it's all about the players and it's all about getting the players on side. And while post Alex Ferguson, we have not had a manager that has had all three of these key components. And with Eric Tenog having that, I just have that massive belief that he'll be the man to bring Manchester United back to the glory days. But anyways lads, that was the latest episode of Transfers FC. And if you are excited for the arrival of Eric Tenog and the potential arrival of Jurian Timber, well, please go down there and smash that like button for your boy and consider subscribing to my channel. And I want to say a massive thank you for 700 subscribers. Your lot's support is insane, man. But anyways, lads, for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.